All right, what's going on there, folks? Uh, good afternoon. The Earthmaster here on the live stream. Uh, it is Saturday, January 22nd, 2022, about 3.47 p.m. California time. And uh, latest quake, a 2.5 earthquake out here in Nevada. This comes after a 4.3 earthquake strikes that area. I believe originally came in uh, from the EMSC as a 4.6 or a 4.7 magnitude earthquake. It's kind of outside the normal area that we've been looking at uh, around the uh, Tonopah area. Let's go ahead and zoom in to the views here. Let's bring up the all magnitude so we can see a little bit more detail. Uh, zooming in to the Nevada area. Of course, a lot of folks watch this video or watch this channel know that uh, there's been quite a bit of movement out here in this area across the Candelaria Hills, northwest of the Tonopah region. This is all aftershock activity from the six-pointer that struck back here um, earlier last year or the year before. I can't remember. I think it's been two years now. Uh, but uh, in that sequence, uh, there's been quite a bit of uh, movement there throughout that uh, this time frame since that six-pointer struck. But we're looking at a new swarm uh, kind of to the northwest of this fracture zone, a little bit separate activity itself. So this is uh, kind of a developing... Um, story at the moment the 4.3 struck here at about 11.6 kilometers below the surface uh right around the uh what is this what's this mountain range here uh excelsior excelsior That's what it <laughs> whiskey flat okay whiskey flat kind of around there as well candelaria hill sit to the uh, southeast here but uh, 4.3 striking at 11.6 kilometers below the surface. And there's been a pretty good amount of aftershock activity as well. Quite a few twos and ones kicking up here in this region near uh, Mina, Nevada, right? Mina, Nevada is yeah. somewhere around here. I don't see it really listed on the map. But uh, I know it's definitely within this region. I was out here uh, last year kind of looking at this uh, area. And there's a whole lot of nothing out there. A lot of dirt roads with uh, not a whole lot to look at. Not a whole lot of population density, let me tell you. So, some earthquake activity ramping up here. We got one that's kind of shallow. Most of this activity is pretty deep there, between 11 and 16 kilo or, uh, yeah, 11 and 16 kilometers deep uh, for this earthquake activity. So, kind of watching this region pretty closely here, folks. Of course, Nevada is full of fault systems throughout the region. Looks like. Um, couple faults out there unnamed in the Nevada area so uh, kind of hard to say exactly which specific fault system this struck on but uh, obvious sign of some uh, some buildup out here along the west coast regions seen some activity on the Garlock fault structure as well see some movement uh, looks like 2.2 near the uh, what is that Tehachapi Mountains area. Yeah. This here is the Garlock Fault structure, kind of running up and down, or I should say, west to east almost in this fashion. Seeing a little bit of movement kick up here uh, compared to uh, previous weeks. So watch this area pretty closely. Ridgecrest area not seen a whole lot. If you look at the movement right now, and this is the all magnitudes here, Ridgecrest is absolutely missing when it comes to the earthquake activity. They just have one little lone earthquake here and this should be filled up with quite a few aftershocks even if they're microquakes they do pop up pretty much every day today is a little bit different uh, so something definitely uh building up here but uh maybe p possibly in a, in a in an odd area it's hard to say exactly at the moment but uh, if you look up here around the long valley super volcano as well there's not a whole lot of movement a couple small quakes outside the long valley caldera but uh, other than that, uh, man, just kind of spotty down here in this region of the state. Southern California, some movement south of the Salton Sea area near the Brawley Seismic Zone. We have been seeing some activity in the Gulf of California that kicked up yesterday. It's now gone. But uh, seeing some movement up here near the uh, Salton Sea area. <clears throat> Northern California, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on up there. Uh, the San Andreas Fault System, a little bit of microquake activity in and around the creeping section of the fault. 
the Palomar Mountain region's not shown any uh, earthquake activity around the Palomar Observatory that we've been watching for uh, well, a couple weeks or so. Kind of, so kind of the big story right now out here in Nevada, and some movement in uh, in some certain areas across the Garlock Fault Zone. Intermountain West regions, it's kind of hard to believe that there's no movement throughout here. Is this the all magnitudes? Yeah. It's crazy. Let me refresh this. It's kind of odd. I mean, we just, normally there's something kicking up here throughout the Utah area up into Wyoming and Idaho. There's just, there's not, nothing. Zip zero listed out here in Utah, which is pretty odd. Idaho did see a little quake out here, 1.7, but nothing like we should be seeing on a very typical day uh, in the uh, Intermountain West regions here. This is the last week of activity and uh, pretty much on any given day we see at least a few earthquakes out here throughout the Intermountain West as you can see there on the weak magnitude, all, all magnitudes map. But right now nothing. Uh, eastern part of the country pretty quiet as well except for a 2.4 on the New Madrid zone right smack dab in that area where the uh, hazard area sits. Go ahead and bring this up for the U.S. hazard map. Shows that uh, 2.4. Uh, can't. I don't think you can get any closer than that when it comes to right smack dab on the New Madrid zone. Uh, looking uh, east, area is pretty quiet. Puerto Rico region seeing some movement. Not a whole lot though around the Puerto Rico trench. Just some microquakes. And the southeast or the uh, South American plate here seeing some activity into the uh, Peru Chile trench. South Sandwich Islands did see a little bit of activity ramp up, a 5.1. That one uh, looks like that one occurring uh, earlier this morning. And some activity along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge off the coast of Africa. The uh, Ascension Island area, 5.1. Seen a little 4.9 up there as well. Which one came first? Looks like the... Uh, I think the 4.9. 4 4.9 just looks like a few hours this was last night, and then we had, a, of course, this earlier this morning, the 5.1. Kind of some odd quake activity out there. Uh, and most recently, I think we just had a, something come into the Greece area, didn't we, on one of these maps? Um, just just the one in Jordan that I seen there. Because we're just, seeing something. Just came in, but I didn't the EMSC 3.0. No. But USGS ain't going to show that earthquake here on the map because of the uh, threshold. Yeah. So a little bit of activity definitely ramping up throughout the Mediterranean Sea region, including that uh, Jordan 1 4.1 at uh, defaulted 10 kilometer depth. Look at Tonga, folks. I want to show you guys Tonga. Tonga's kicking back up once again over the last 24 hours. Seeing some further movement out here around these volcanoes. Of course, the Hunga Tonga volcano, the one that we all been hearing about on social media, the one that blew uh, a few nights ago and created a, a little tsunami out there. Uh, is this area right here. So we're still seeing uh, quite a few fours kick up right around that specific volcano and areas to the south. Uh, I don't think we're done here by a long shot when it comes to the uh, potential for eruptions across the Tonga volcanic uh, chain there. Keeping a pretty close eye on that area. The Kermadec Trench region south looks pretty quiet through New Zealand. Um, Vanuatu area 5.1 at 237 kilometers. Uh, what else we got here? Philippines, rocking and rolling, of course, from that six-pointer that struck last night in this area. Quite a few fours kicking up. New 3.1, Mina, Nevada. Another 3.1 in Mina. Yep. There it is, right there. We can see it there on the map. So, a little pretty good swarm. Of course, whenever we see magnitudes like this kick up, uh, there's always that potential for possibly seeing something larger here. Uh, just because we had a 4.3 doesn't mean that's it. Yeah. You know, it's that's quite a bit of earthquake activity following a 4.3 magnitude quake. And now it's increasing a little. And we're still getting some larger, somewhat larger aftershocks. So uh, should be on guard out here along the uh, Nevada area, West Coast region. You can see it lighten up pretty obviously uh, into the southern part of the state across the Garlock Fault Zone. So uh, just a heads up, folks, down there in the southern part of the state. Uh, looks like we got what, another 4.2 off the coast of Mexico. The uh, EMSC really been bumping today. Let's go ahead and bring up the EMSC map. Take a look at uh, a little bit better view if they are working, which uh, kind of looks like they are, I believe. The uh, 
map here kind of shows the movement up and down the North American plate here to really see the maximum detail. Got to zoom in a little bit for the uh, three pointers. But these guys have been pretty slow on their page. I'm not for sure if they are being overloaded or what. But either way, there's the Middle America trench activity kind of ramping up. Quite a few threes up and down the board throughout the Gulf of California region as well. Uh, there's that 3.1 that just came into the Nevada area. Mina, Nevada. Uh, these guys, let's see, uh, they have it at 4.3 about an hour ago when the uh, Nevada quake hit. So definitely some movement kicking up here on the globe, folks. Uh, and out there in Nevada, that's some uh, somewhat deeper activity out there. 13 kilometers is pretty deep for this movement. And uh, in a separate location from our previous uh, fracture here from that six-pointer a year or so ago. Uh, what else we got here? A little bit of movement on the Northern California coastline. Of course, we got trimmer. Didn't we have trimmer last night or was no, that? there was none. Absent of trimmer activity once again. Of course, the newest map has not come out yet. We've got a couple hours. We'll be back a little bit later with an update video this evening uh, to cover more detailed earthquake activity. But I uh, wanted to jump in here and let you guys know uh, quite a bit of activity kicking up here along the West Coast. Uh, and Nevada area and uh, of course we got all the movement up there in Alaska from that uh, they, they had that 6.2 come in near the Fox Islands this whole area right here though putting a whole lot of strain on this region uh, with all that movement so kind of kind of watching things uh, see how things go folks the Hawaii area pretty active as well southeast flank showing quite a bit of movement over the last 24 hours but uh we will be back a little bit later on this evening there's another quake coming into the petrolia area of course you can see it right here this thing's been uh showing quite a bit of seismic movement as well but usgs not issuing those uh, preliminary earthquake activity there on any of the maps uh, of course emsc not showing either for, for some oddball reason as well but uh the seismographs definitely don't lie and um, we know what earthquake activity looks like on these maps. So we're on these graphs, I should say. All right, guys, have a good day. Stay safe. We will be back later this evening with, uh, like I mentioned, a complete update on the activity. Unless something drastic happens here, uh, then we'll, of course, jump in automatically and uh, be here on the live stream. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on tonight, folks. Stay safe out there. Peace out.